And tracking China's housing market can be a bit complicated. I asked Adam Sarhan to simplify it for us. He's founder and CEO of 50 Park Investments, a financial services company. Sure, there's a few things that are going on, Mike. The first thing is we have to understand the longer term trend. And right now, the Chinese housing market has been growing for several years. As is the case with any market anywhere in the world, eventually, the, the market stops growing, tops out, and then a new cycle begins where you start slowing down and then moving lower. Now, normal healthy pullbacks after a very strong rally are considered healthy and actually conducive for a long-term growth perspective for any market. Markets don't just go straight up. So there's an old saying on Wall Street that says the market takes the stairs up and the elevator down. And what the Chinese government has done over the last two years, really the last 24 to 36 months, is cognizant of the fact that housing prices have been just taking, you know, taking off or going straight up, almost like a hockey stick. And what they've tried to do is they try to combat it. They've tried to slow it down. And they've enacted several different measures that we can go through, but you're familiar with all of them. And the whole idea, the intention behind it, is to slow the growth. And the last thing anybody wants to see in any market anywhere in the world, especially in a Chinese housing market, would be a bubble. And the key going forward is, will it be a healthy pullback or stabilization, if you will, of prices, or will it be a situation where people panic on the way down, and then you enter into a decline in housing prices, a very steep decline, and that, of course, is tied to how other markets fare, the global economy, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously, the, uh, the first out that you outline is much better than the second. So as you look at the landscape right now, what do you see? I mean, is it, is it stabilizing at the rate you like to see? What cities are you looking at? Are you looking at Beijing? Are you looking at Shanghai or, or, or just all of them? Yeah, I mean, there's two points here. Number one, you always look at the macro picture first. What is the global housing market doing outside of China? And then second, you drill down and go a little bit more granular on the micro level and look at China as a whole, and then look within China at different segments. So you've got, of course, Beijing, you've got Shanghai, you've got Shenzhen, you've got a lot of other cities as well. And the key right now, things are good, meaning they're slowing down a little bit. The rate of increase has stopped at a very strong, unsustainable rate. And that's really what the concern is for the government. They don't want to have a situation where prices just asymmetrically shoot higher and it's unsustainable. So what's happening now is that prices are cooling off, which is a good thing for now. Now, going forward, if prices stabilize, that's a net positive. If prices start declining, meaning more sellers show up, and then that selling feeds upon itself, and selling begets selling, then you could see a spiral to the downside, and nobody wants to see that, including the government. Can stabilization efforts like the ones the government's uh, been pursuing, can they be sustained long term, or does the market kind of have to take care of itself? There's, it's a very, very, very tight rope with respect to overdoing it from any government into any interfering with any market, and it interfering enough to help the invisible hand, if you will, the market itself, autocorrect or stay within a normal band of growth and contraction. So right now, the Chinese government has done everything in its power to maintain that equilibrium, not to overstep its boundary and hit the, the housing market with a club and, and hamper growth or just impede growth, but you're in a situation now where the Chinese government doesn't want us to, uh, the housing market to cool off to the point where you enter into a year-over-year -year massive decline in housing prices. And it, doesn't, it just wants to curb the rate of acceleration. And so far, it's achieving its objective. Adam Sorian, always a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you.